Knuckleheads, what's going on? It's Josh here, and we are back talking some team fight tactics with another tier list for patch 12.19. Coming off the most recent patch, we had big buffs to Shio Yu, Siphon, and Swain, along with a rework of Jace and some other various adjustments and changes to other units, traits, and augments. But at the end of the day, all we really care about is how those changes have affected the best comps and what they mean for the current meta. And as you can see at the top of the tier list, there are some changes. Now we do still have Haoshin and Zaya still in S tier. Jade Shio Yu also joins them in the S tier, replacing Som and Era from last patch. And actually, you can see that Som has fallen quite a bit. He's now down in the C tier after being S tier last patch due to that nerf not only to mages, but to Seraphine as well, who is very integral to his Lagoon comp. On the other side though, Terra has only dropped down to A tier, joined by Niraj Deja, who remains from last patch, but also also Ragewing Shivana and Skill Score Warrior Olaf, who last patch were B and C tier respectively. In terms of the B tier, we also have two Namzi comps. Actually, we have one Mage Namzi comp that was still remaining from 1218, and now Evoker Namzi, which was actually D tier last patch. Otherwise, in the B tier and below, things are pretty much the same. Cannoneer Graves is still pretty strong, as is Whisper Pantheon. You have the shapeshifter comps and built different comps. Dragon Mancer Nunu is now officially dead after kind of lingering around last patch after he became the flavor of the month at the beginning of set 7.5. But Dragon Mancer Lee Sin has now kind of eclipsed him and replaced him a little bit, but I wouldn't say he's particularly strong in all situations. Overall, my and the tier list recommendation for this meta would be continue not to invest in reroll comps. They're still very, very weak. There are no one or two star reroll comps that are above C tier. Two, there's a good mix of AD and AP comps that you can choose from, so you don't really have to be targeting one specific type of damage. Just kind of see what augments and units you're getting early on and use that to inform your decision about itemization late. Overall, whatever you were doing in 12.18 is probably still going to be pretty effective in 12.19, so no major deviations from how you should approach the game. I'll be back soon with another episode of the Chaos Climb. You can catch the last episode here, and let me know in the comments what you're going to be playing in 12.19 to get some of that sweet LP. Till next time, take it easy, knuckleheads.